2018 Ford Explorer XLT. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over and talk about the standard as well as optional equipment that's available on that XLT trim of the 2018 Ford Explorer. This is going to be a very thorough video, so if you're wanting to kick ahead and look at some things, we'll go first go over the standard equipment and then those different equipment groups optional packages and standalone options at the very end so uh, check the timestamps down below you can uh, move ahead through this video if you want to keep this video as a uh, research for you I think you're gonna find it very valuable most people that do watch my videos uh, really like it uh, I'm not gonna exclude anything so everything's gonna be in there so if you're looking at that XLT you want to know what it takes to get this package or that package we'll go over all that as well as the different prices so definitely check that out also keep in mind we do free shipping so I'll talk more about that at the end of the video and that closing so if you want to uh, learn more about uh, what we entail with the free shipping uh, do check that out as well so first let's talk about that standard equipment now your XLT is coming either front-wheel drive or that intelligent four-wheel drive system and if you do get the intelligent four-wheel drive system you'll get that terrain management system and that's a kind of a shift on the fly there you're able to adjust for different situations that you're driving driving situations so whether it be snow sand slick roads it's easy to be able to shift that uh, between those instead of having to figure out if I'm in four high four low uh, what situations those are uh, so it's real nice and easy to use for about everybody there I think you'll like that now for safety real quick I want to go over some things uh, you're, now there's a personal safety system for the driver and front passenger uh, for it has a dual stage front airbag as well as you have your side airbags and you have the seat belt sensor under there that says how close you are to the steering wheel it lets the system know that and then your seat belt pretensioner so uh, totally protects those in the first and the, the the front row up here also you're going to have the safety canopy airbag with rollover sensor what's great about that is it's going to protect and deploy those side airbags or the, the canopy airbag I should say to protect those uh, around the vehicle in kind of a rollover situation now this does have advanced track with roll stability control so hopefully you won't have that situation it really helps to keep you on your intended path and control any kind of rollover it's also going to have SOS post crash alert system and your 911 assist so uh, some great safety goes along with this vehicle here now as I go around this uh, and uh, talk about the standard equipment uh, I do want to point out right now that this vehicle is not our just base equipment group that 200A equipment group this actually is a 202A equipment group so there are going to be some things on this vehicle uh, and I'll try to point them out as we go around it that are actually part of different equipment groups and we'll go over the equipment groups after we go over standard equipment but if I point out that this is not a, a base uh, part of that 200A uh, that's why we're going to be doing that so just to let you know that ahead of time now you have two different engines that are available in this uh, Explore. You have the 3.5 liter V6 engine, that's a natural aspirated engine. It's going to get you 290 horsepower and 255 foot pound of torque. So, pretty good engine there for you. I think you're going to find that that's going to be very comparable for you. And for fuel economy, you're going to see 17 in the city, 24 on the highway for those front wheel drive. And then you're going to get 16 in the city and you're going to get 22 on the highway for that intelligent four wheel drive system. Now there is an optional engine as well, and that's that 2.3 liter twin turbocharged EcoBoost engine uh, that's going to deliver some really nice power for you. It's going to get you uh, in a for horsepower. You're going to get 280 horsepower. You're going to get 310 foot pound of torque so a really pr great performing engine uh, but it's even better yet it has a little bit better fuel economy so in the city for that front wheel drive you're going to get 19 and on the highway you're going to get 27 miles per gallon so again great fuel economy now if you have that four wheel drive system it's going to get you 18 in the city and 25 on the highway so still pretty good even with the, that all wheel drive even better than your uh, that v6 so uh, again if you're looking for fuel economy that's probably the way you want to go now here in the front uh, you're going to see a lot of this is going to be similar to the base model so you're going to have that chrome three bar grill with the foundry gray inserts in there and I love the upgrade for 2018 uh, I love the different look there in the grill also down here you're going to see the silver skid plate down there so painted skid plate and that is an upgrade from your base model uh, just kind of gives it a little bit of a, an upgrade to the front of the vehicle from the base model you're also going to get automatic headlights it means they're going to come on automatically as it gets dark and you're going to get the wiper activated as well so when you turn your wipers on they'll come on too and you're going to get these LED signature lighting around here and that is kind of an upgrade for your XLT you can have that on uh, during the daytime 
Uh, also configurable daytime running light. So just it's going to look real sharp and kind of give that, that front a pop. And it's kind of a safety feature too because uh, people will see, uh, especially if you don't have your headlights on in that situation, those lights will kind of pop at them and those LEDs is so much brighter as well there. Now, fog light is actually part of an equipment group we'll get to in just a little bit. So again, uh, I like the upgrade of the, the XLT and going on it from the base of the XLT uh, has a real nice look to it. Now moving around to the side, you're going to see two different wheels depending on if you have a, that front wheel drive or you have the intelligent four wheel drive. Now the front wheel drive is going to have a five spoke uh, sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel and then your four wheel drive is going to have an 18 inch five split spoke sparkle silver paint and aluminum wheel. So um, pretty similar except the four wheel drive is going to have that split spoke uh, there and uh, just like you're seeing on this vehicle here this happens to be a four wheel drive. Now your mirrors are going to have the same uh, mirror cap as your base model so it's going to be that molded in black uh, mirror cap also, it's going to have your power heated glass, and it has an integrated blind spot mirror, and that's an angled mirror so you can see the vehicles and your blind spot a little bit better. Uh, the, this, uh, the mirror cap and this is going to be in a part of an equipment group we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Also, here you're going to have intelligent access. That allows you to be able to use a key fob to just walk up, put your hands in a door handle, and it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. And you can set up in your settings to unlock the driver's door or all the doors. It's really up to your preference there, and you can uh, change that at any time there. Uh, also, you're going to have keypad here on the pillar that allows you to be able to be able to unlock and lock the vehicle using the keypad. If you want to leave the keys inside, maybe you don't have the keys on you, you still want to get something inside, you can use your own special code to be able to get inside the vehicle. Also, you'll see that it has a little uh, knob here on the outside. You just press it on any of the front doors and it's going to go ahead and lock the vehicle up when you have the key fob on you when you're outside of the vehicle. So that's uh, going to come in real handy. So you don't have to get the keys out of your pocket to uh, get, get in the vehicle or to drive the vehicle because it will have the push button start like the base model does. Now, a little different uh, designs here on the side. You're going to see the body color door handles. You're also going to see the uh, gray painted uh, roof rack side rails up here that I really like. Also, the chrome accent on the lower rocker molding down here too uh, that upgrades to the XLT. Privacy glass is brought over from the base model. That's a dark tinted glass here in the side windows as well as the back glass. Just keeps it cooler for everyone inside. Just looks real nice as well in the vehicle. Now, as we move to the back, we'll have a body color rear spoiler back here. Also, rear defrost with rear wiper. You're going to see the chrome accent goes across back here just like in the base model with your rear view camera. Uh, now you're going to get reverse sensing. So as you're back up, now you're going to be able to see behind you with that camera. Now you're going to also have the reverse sensing so it'll alert you if you get too close to anything. Also back here, you're going to have the silver painted rear skid plate back here. And it's similar to what you have on the front. And then your chrome tip dual exhaust under there. So uh, the bumper here is actually an upgrade we'll get to in another, the equipment group that's next. Uh, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Now also this in a, as part of the that equipment group as well has power lift gate, but your standard on your 200A uh, XLTs will have the manual lift gate. So you have the remote to be able to unlock it. Uh, you'll still have the button back there, but then you'll just you'll have to lift it up yourself here. Uh, now here in the back, uh, now this, these do have front and rear independent suspension. Didn't mention that earlier. Now the independent suspension is going to give you a great ride because it is going to be independent of each other. So it's going to be able to hit those potholes a little bit better and hopefully you're not going to have all that lean. Uh, so you're going to have that great ride, but also because of that, now you're not going to have that, that the axle uh, back here. So you're going to have some uh, different flexibility on the inside because of it. One of those is this nice deep well where you can store things underneath those uh, third row seat there but also the third row seat's gonna be able to fold flat into the floor as well. So those are some, some great benefits of having that rear independent suspension. And a lot of vehicles in this class still don't have that. Uh, and uh, of course the, the Explorer's had it for years. So let me show you and demonstrate how these uh, seats will fold flat. Now they're 50-50 split bench seats. You have to fold one and then the other. And we'll demonstrate on the left one over here. The first thing you're gonna see is the headrests are up. Uh, this strap back here, if you just pull it, it'll lower the headrest so it goes down. So you'll need to do that first. And then it's a series of loops over here. So uh, there's a red one, which is uh, labeled one, and then the black one is labeled two. And there's instructions on the back of the seat uh, here as well. So it's pretty easy to uh, understand. And just uh, pull the red one, it's gonna release the seat back. So it's, you know, it locks into place there. And then the two will release the seat cushion, the front of it, so that way you can lay down and lock into place here. And it will lock in uh, for you. So it gives you that flat low level on here, which is really nice. And then you just pull the latch right here and then it's going to go ahead and put it back and it's going to lock that seat into place there. And then if you pull that red one that, that unlock that lock the, uh, the backrest down, it'll unlock that backrest so that way it comes forward. So it's pretty easy to understand that if the red one is going to control your seat cushion uh, or the seat back and the black one's going to release that seat cushion. So that way you can do several different things with the seat. So, 
and then the headrest you'll have to manually grab it and pull it into position so um, pretty nice and easy to be able to fold that flat into the floor uh, you know if you there's a lot of times you don't have people riding back there you can always just heat and leave them down and then when you need them just put them back into position so it's real nice and easy to do with the series of loops there now on the interior you have two different color interiors that's available you know in the base model you had the medium light stone interior which you're going to have that with this vehicle as well we're we're going to have the black across your dash and the upper parts of your doors and you're going to have your tan below that uh, lower part of your doors you're still going to have your black armrest and then your seats are also going to be that medium light stone uh, and, and seats as well and then you're going to have that really nice trim that goes across the doors and across your dash it's that it's called that galvano gray interior trim and i really love the the finish of that and it really i think makes the interior pop a little bit you can also get that ebony interior and the ebony interior is going to be all black so uh, where you're seeing the tan will be black so completely black dash uh, lower part as well as your seats in here also you're going to get a standard equipment is going to be your unique cloth seating surfaces a little bit different design than your base model and uh, those are going to come standard your driver is going to get a 10-way power adjustment seat including a power recline and a power lumbar and the passenger seat is going to be a six-way power adjustment for that seat cushion you're going to have a manual recline back seat back here is going to seat three in the second row 60 40 split bench seat what's great about that 40 percent side is there's a lever underneath there and you can pull that seat uh, forward and back uh, so that way if you have those taller people you might want to sit over there and then you have either side of the, the vehicle you can get to access to the back seat with using those uh, series of levers there on the side to be able to get that seat uh, cushion so you can uh, get to the back and then that 50 50 split bench seat there in the back seating two people back there <clears throat> here in the door you have your power windows locks mirror switches including auto one touch for those front windows you will get upgraded to the leather wrap steering wheel here, a manual tilt and telescoping. So just pull the lever under there. It's going to go up and down, forward and back, so you can control it and get it just right. On the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to have your cruise control. On the right side, you're going to have Bluetooth as well as audio controls over here. And also does have a nice finish here on the steering wheel as well as around the instrument panel. It has this nice high gloss uh, gray finish too, a dark gray uh, finish I think you'll like. You will have your push button start electronic climate control here uh, also you're going to have uh, access uh, to for your audio controls AM FM uh, player with the Sirius satellite audio sound system as well so you're going to have that uh, in the vehicle too and you're going to have the uh, same type screen that you saw from the base model so I'm going to show you a clip from the base uh, trim of what that looks like you're going to have that four inch screen in the middle on where you can see your audio controls and that's where your backup camera is going to come into view as well when you back up uh, so and then you have some compartments in here uh, flip this open you're going to have a smart USB port in here where you can plug in those smartphones you can put the phone in there too that way you're uh, it's it's charging and it's a nice place to, to even have it. it even has a slot here for that wire to come out if you are maybe the passenger over there it's going that direction also you're going to have the console here so you just uh, push that button that opens it up you do have a, a tray here for some coins if you want to you can also pull that out uh, and then you have access to a bigger compartment in here with another USB port in here as well so you can just open that up and you get a USB port there as well and you have two spots to bring cords through here as well uh, to, for, to be able to access that it even has some uh, holders back here for looks like for some uh, different things like business cards or pens and such right there too I think you'll like that also behind this console you'll also have a PowerPoint back here too for those in the rear seat to be able to uh, power the devices that way and I think there's a cargo a PowerPoint in the rear cargo area too so again everything I've talked about here this is all the standard equipment on that 200A equipment group now let's talk about that 201A equipment group. This equipment group includes a lot of exterior as well as interior features that I think you really find valuable. And first thing on the front here you're going to see is the LED fog lights. So uh, those fog lights are not only going to make the front look really nice, but also uh, you do have that functionality of those LED fog lights in that situation where it's really foggy out or maybe even that road where it's hard to see on. Also, the mirror is going to get upgraded a lot up here. It does have their high gloss black finish here on the mirror caps turn signal indicator on the outside those are LEDs and then you're going to have the security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle you're also going to get remote start so right there on the remote you just lock it press the remote twice it's now going to go ahead and remote start the vehicle 
So that's really nice. You can set it up in the settings to, to run for 5, 10, or 15 minute uh, intervals there, and it'll cycle through twice. So maybe if you don't want it running too long, so you remote start the vehicle in the morning, uh, it runs for maybe 10 minutes and it shuts off if that's the setting you have, and then you realize you need to do some things first, and then you can go ahead and maybe remote start again so you want it running when you get out there. So uh, that's really nice, and your LED, the security approach that they're gonna, are going to work when you usually either use a remote as you get close to unlock the vehicle or when you put your hands in the door handle. Either one, that's when that'll light up under there. So I think you'll like that. And then back here, you're going to have the you know, rear cargo protector back here. And this is new for 2018. You're going to have the little bumper back pad back here with the chrome accent. So it's going to protect it so that way if you drop things on there, it'll protect the bumper back here. Also, you're going to get that power lift gate. So you can either use a remote uh, to power it up, or as you saw earlier, you just press a button under here, and it's going to open it up as well. So power lift gate's going to come in real handy when you need to put some things in the back of the cargo area. Now a lot of features get upgraded here on the inside. Uh, one of those is this uh, power passenger seat over here. It goes from that six way to a 10 way, including the power uh, backrest or recline and the power lumbar up there too. You're also gonna get upgraded to seven speakers in here. So more speakers uh, in the vehicle. Uh, so I think you'll like that. Also gonna get dual zone auto climate control. So now the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures along with you have the rear climate control too. And then also you're gonna get upgraded in the, the instrument cl cluster here. You're gonna have a second LCD screen. So you're gonna have those dual uh, 4.2 inch LCD. Uh, they're configurable as well. Uh, so I think you'll like the upgrade uh, with that as well. You're also gonna get the driver connect package. The driver connect package includes some great features. And uh, one of those is the LCD screen as I just mentioned. Also, you're going to get the auto dimming rear view mirror. It's going to dim that mirror if there's someone with those bright lights coming up from behind you back there. And then you're going to get the Sync 3 system. That's that third generation voice enhanced recognition system with the 8 inch screen here. Uh, you can control your phone, your climate, your, um, your a lot of those different commands, your, uh, your audio, I should say, uh, through uh, the touch screen as well as the voice commands that we talked about earlier with that Sync Connect system. And your backup camera is going to come on the full 8 inch screen instead of the smaller 4 inch screen. Uh, so I think you'll really love that system. Also to go along with that, you're going to get Sync Connect which is new for 2018. That Sync Connect allows you to connect you to the vehicle using that Ford Pass app. So now you can use that Ford Pass app to remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can even schedule remote starting times if you want, and you can find your vehicle. So if you're in that, that game or something, you get out, you can't remember exactly what zone you parked in, you can use the app to help you find it. And then also it's going to have the Wi-Fi hotspots where you can connect up to 10 devices to the vehicle. So that's going to come in handy. Instead of having everybody using their data, you can use and sign up some real nice affordable plans. I think it's $20 a month for unlimited data. Uh, and so that's going to come in really handy, especially if you drive a lot, you travel a lot, the kids are in the vehicle a lot, you're going to probably want that because then they can connect to the vehicle pretty easily. Up to 10 different devices, which means that maybe it may not be because there are only seats, you know, uh, seven or eight in the vehicle, but with that, you can also then uh, have other different devices, tablets, other people that maybe ride with you, you connect them and have those saved in there so that when they get in, they're going to connect right away. So again, this is a great package. That's why we order a lot of our vehicles with this package. Now let's talk about the 202A equipment group. Now this equipment group really is your leather comfort package. And so you're gonna get some of those features. But here on the outside, you're also gonna get the front sensing system up here. So just like the back sensing, if, as you're pulling into driveways and garages, you're gonna get alert as you get closer and closer to different items there in the front. So I think that's a nice safety feature that's included with the 202A equipment group. Now on the inside, not only are you gonna get those leather seating surfaces now, they're gonna get front heated seats as well. So you're gonna get the leather seats in the front row as well as the second row and those uh, back row will be vinyl seats and then also you're going to get heated steering wheel and this is a nice upgrade Even on an XLT you can get heated steering wheel I just think that's a great feature that's included with this equipment group now we're going to talk about some different packages and packages include several features uh, together in different packages and there are several different optional packages that are available. Uh, one of them I want to talk about first is your different tow packages, your trailer tow packages. Uh, now there are two different trailer tow packages and both of those are available on your 200, 201A or 202A equipment group. And the first one is that class 2 uh, trailer tow package and that's going to come with that 2.3 liter uh, EcoBoost engine uh, and then it's going to come with that uh, class 
class two receiver hitch to go along with that. And then you also have your class three trailer tow package. And that tow package requires you to have that 3.5 liter V6 engine, uh, and it's gonna come with the class three receiver hitch. So again, two different uh, tow packages that are available uh, for 2018. Now let's talk about the Ford Safe and Smart package. This package is new for 2018 and is available on your 201A or 202A equipment group. It does require those equipment groups to get this package. And it's going to include some great features. And one of those features is going to be your rain sensing wipers. So uh, really, if you have your, your intermittent settings on the little A uh, for any of those, what it's going to do is it's going to turn those wipers on when it starts to rain. So no matter how hard it rains, if it sprinkles or it rains a little bit harder, it's going to change the speed of those wipers. You don't have to change those constantly. Also, auto high beams. And now it's another thing that you can check on and off in your settings there. And what's great about that is it works a lot like your automatic headlights. So if there's no one in front of you, or you're not in the city, it's going to turn those auto high beams on. And then as a car approaches you, or if you happen to be in the city with the street lights, it's going to dim it. So it works real nicely. I think you'll really appreciate that feature there. Also, you have your Bliss system. Now, Bliss, Bliss, Bliss system is your blind spot monitoring system with cross traffic alerts. So the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of the mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time on that side. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna also put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash there in your instrument cluster that it's not safe to back up, and a series of tones too. So I think you're gonna really love that system. Uh, really is a lifesaver there, especially in those parking lots. Also, you're gonna get the adaptive cruise control with forward collision warning and brake support. What's great about this is if you have that cruise set and you're coming up behind somebody that's going slower than you, it'll slow you down to go their speed until you either pass them and it's safe to speed up or they speed up themselves. So I think you'll really love that system. And you also get lane keeping system. It's not just an alert system. It does alert you, but also helps you keep you in your lane. It monitors those lines on both sides of your lane and it's gonna mark them up there on your dash and show you when they're green. That means it senses both of those lines. Sometimes you're in that, some of those highways where the lines are real faint, it may not notice those. So just keep that in mind for your safety, but it is really an assist system, um, but it will help bump you in your lane. So you wanna make sure you use your turn signals there. And again, this package is new for 2018. Now let's talk about the XLT Technology Bundle Package. And this package is available also in that 201A or 202A equipment group. So I think you'll uh, love this um, package here uh, as well. Now this package is going to include your CD player. Uh, did not mention CD player. Hopefully you noticed that. Uh, CD player is not standard on your uh, any of your equipment groups uh, that we talked about. So that's going to be included with this technology bundle. Also, you're going to get the universal garage door opener. It's a uh, garage door opener up here on the visor, so you can remote start uh, any type of garage doors, any transmitter. So even gates will work as well. And then also you're going to get the navigation with that pinch to zoom capability. So it's going to come with that Sirius XM traffic and travel link in the pinch to zoom capabilities. So uh, again, that is part of this technology bundle. So that's usually the biggest feature that people get this bundle for is for that navigation to glow along with the Sync 3 system. So I think you'll really appreciate this package. Now let's talk about the cold weather package. This is a great package if you want to continue to have those cloth seats because it's available on your 201 equipment group. Uh, not available because all the features are going to be already included in that 202A equipment group. So it's going to give you the heated seats up here uh, on the front seats. So the driver and front passenger will have the heated seats. Also, it's going to give you that heated steering wheel that we talked about earlier. Uh, and then it's all gonna, also going to get you that front sensing system. So basically includes everything from that 202A equipment group other than your leather seats. So if you're a person that wants cloth seats but wants some of those features, this will be a great package for you. Now let's talk about the XLT Sport Appearance Package. And this is a great package because a lot of times we have customers that come in and say they want that Sport, uh, that Explorer Sport. And a lot of times they want that trim because of the look of it, not just always the performance. And so this is a great package. If you're wanting that Sport look uh, and you want to keep that cost down, you don't need the performance of that 3.5 EcoBoost this is a package for you. I think you really like it. Now, I did bring in another white vehicle so you can see exactly how the contrast looks uh, with the, this package on that white color as well. So here at the front, you're gonna see all the way around the vehicle some nice uh, look to it. You're gonna have some gray accents. So here on the hood, you're gonna have that Explorer lettering there. Also, your grill is gonna be that magnetic painted metallic paint color. Uh, the inserts as well as the bars are gonna be all the same color there. The skid plate up here, on the front is going to go from that silver to that magnetic painted skid plate up there. Looks like you even have some dark uh, treatment to the headlamps up here. 
your wheels. This is a big statement here. 20 inch, 10 spoke, magnetic painted aluminum wheels. So great looking wheel for this vehicle. You're gonna have that magnetic painted mirror caps up here. Down here in the lower rocker molding or the, the cladding right here, instead of that chrome, you're gonna have the magnetic painted accent there too. And then you're gonna have your black roof rack rails up here. And on the back, you're gonna have that magnetic painted finish here on the, the rear lift gate. And then also the little chrome accent that's on that rear uh, bumper protector is gonna be that magnetic painted as well. And inside, you're gonna have that leather seating all black trim in here. So you're gonna have your black trimmed leather seating surfaces and it's gonna have your Miko suede inserts in here with your red stitching. They call it Foxfire red stitching on those seats. Also your door trims are gonna have that Miko suede inserts in them with the Foxfire red stitching as well there to really finish out that sport look to this XLT sport appearance package. So let's talk about some optional equipment that's available as uh, standalone options. And that means that what that basically means is that these are available on their own. And I'll kind of go through the different equipment groups that they're available with uh, as we go about it. Now, one of the wheel that's optional on any of your equipment groups is that five split spoke wheel that we talked about earlier that was available for your four wheel drive is available on your front wheel drive with the 3.5 V6 engine. So keep that in mind. If you like that wheel and you have a front wheel drive with that 3.5, you're good to go. You can get that wheel. Also, the optional 20-inch polished aluminum wheel that is available on your 201A or 202A equipment group with the 3.5 V6 engine as well, in either uh, four-wheel drive or your all-wheel drive. Not available with that EcoBoost engine. Not sure on that one, uh, but that's uh, what the order guide tells us. Also, rear inflatable seatbelt is also optional on any of your equipment groups. And uh, what's great about that is it's going to deploy those uh, airbags there on those seat belts on those two outbound seats from any of those front collision or side collisions to protect them, those occupants back there. Also, the twin panel moonroof, a nice addition to the vehicle. It's going to have that power sunshade with the power moonroof as well, and that's going to be available on your 201A or 202A equipment groups and then also your second row bucket seats. Uh, the bucket seats are a real nice addition. It makes it a little bit easier for those kids to get back to the back. And this is available on your 202A equipment group. It does require you to have that equipment group to get the bucket seats. So if you have your order in the 200 or 201A equipment group, you're only be able to get that second row 60-40 split bench seat. Now let's talk about some accessories that can be added to your vehicle. You can order these uh, from the factory when you order your vehicle, or they can even be ordered from your parts department. A couple of them, if you order from the factory, will be uh, installed on your vehicle from the factory. One of those is a DVD, dual DVD headrest. And that's gonna go on those headrests from those rear seats. Now keep in mind, uh, for some reason, if you have the 2.3 EcoBoost engine with that class two trailer tow package, this is not available. It also requires you to have that 202A equipment group. And so those are those headrests are gonna go on the back there. And they're, they're separate uh, players there. So they do have their own wireless headphones to go along with each one of those. And so you can play two different movies or plug in gaming systems. So this is also gonna be a great feature for those little, little kids that you might travel with you. Also, your running boards. Running boards are gonna be put on the side. They're black platform running board over here. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to get in and out of the vehicle, especially if you have kids, that might be something to add to that. And this is available on any of your equipment groups uh, as well. Now, the rest of these are th features that will be, if you do order them from the factory on your vehicle, they will be shipped to the dealer ahead of time and then they'll, they'll put them in the vehicle. A lot of them just slide in. There aren't things that need to be attached. Uh, they're very difficult. And one of those is gonna be your splash guard. Splash guards are gonna be coming in handy if you live on the dirt road, you're out in those country, uh, it kind of helps from those rocks getting kicked up on the side of your vehicle. So it kind of protects them. As those rocks come up, those mud flaps kind of protect that. So I think that'll be a, a nice thing if you live on those uh, country roads. Also, the crossbars that go up on the roof rack, those that go across a uh, course, uh, comes in real handy if you wanna put that luggage up there. For those long trips and such, you can order those, put all the luggage up there, that way you have more room in the rear cargo area for some other things that you don't want maybe out in the weather. So uh, that can come in handy, and a lot of people will like that, especially for those trips. Also, you can get for the back cargo area, you can get a cargo mat. And of course, you'd have, need those seats folded down for that cargo mat, but it's an all-weather mat, uh, tray-like back there. And uh, for people that uh, carry a lot of stuff back there, they get things dirty, this would be a good thing that you can include and order with your vehicle. Uh, and that's uh, something else that's uh, available on any of your equipment groups. Also back there, you can get an interior cargo cover. And that's going to cover up that cargo area. So it comes in real handy if you want to uh, put things back there and cover up so people can't see what you have back there. That's going to come in handy and be very valuable for you 
you as well. Also, uh, forgot to mention the standard equipment is going to be your carpeted mats for the first and second footwells, but you can also get the optional all-weather mats as well uh, that's going to go in there. They're the tray-like, like the cargo uh, mat back there, and it's going to protect those footwells from mud, dirt, uh, even snow and such like that so that way that carpet under there doesn't get wet and get to smelling and such like that so really protects everything in there so uh, so I think you'll uh, really find some value of a lot of these uh, different optional equipment that's available on your 2018 Ford Explorer. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment groups, packages, and standalone options. So like I said, I knew this would be a very thorough video, and so I hope you got a lot of information from this that really helped you in your research of your Ford Explorer. Uh, also, let's talk about warranties. You get a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. And a lot of people forget about that roadside assistance. If you have, uh, maybe you have a flat tire, dead battery, you can call them and they'll help you out. So I think you'll find that of some really good use for you there. Uh, don't forget to also go to our website, lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures of each vehicle, Plus, you can pull up the window stickers on all of our vehicles that are in stock. It goes over the standard equipment at the top, as well as the optional packages, the equipment group, and the optional equipment down below that, so you can see that. And on our website, too, you're not going to find just MSRP minus rebates. You're going to find our internet price, and we do price our vehicles very competitive. And I mentioned earlier that if you live outside of our area and you want to do business with us, we do free shipping to the within the 48 states. And all we would do is we just require that you finance with us, and that helps us cover the cost for that shipping. So uh, again, it's uh, there is no gimmick there. Uh, if, if you finance with us, we can cover the what we get from the fund, the lenders to cover our cost for delivering shipping the vehicle to you. So that's something. If you want to uh, work through us, I know that you have a, a really good uh, knowledgeable dealership that knows exactly what you want and wants to order the vehicles the right way. Then definitely uh, take advantage of that. I think you'll appreciate that. Uh, also, you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. If you have any questions at all, uh, maybe you want some clarification, some things, we have some great coordinators that can help you out. Also, you can leave those down in the comments down below, and I will respond to those and answer any questions you might have. And speaking of our YouTube channel, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now is a good time. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we have a new video uploaded to our YouTube channel. We don't uh, load it with full of a bunch of useless videos. A lot of videos like this and our Lincoln product videos are what usually what I upload to our YouTube channel. Uh, so I think you'll find it some very valuable videos for you that you'll really like. So definitely do that. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up right now uh, so you can tell people that this is a great video that they need to definitely watch if they want information on the 2018 Ford Explorer. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, let me know in the, in the comments down below and, and enjoy your day. And I hope you enjoyed the video on this 2018 Ford Explorer XLT trim.